grab here is the uh, S1 Ringmaster from uh, uh, Brodak. It's uh, almost ready to fly, control line model. And there's really not that much that you're going to have to do. Uh, unboxing it, you have your wing. And everything's already pre covered. Uh, this side's the top. Here you have your control lines already attached. Uh, you have your horizontal and uh, vertical stabilizers. Right here you have your uh, flat fuselage. And you have your uh, hardware here, all your uh, nuts, bolts, wheels. Now this is everything that came with the kit. Uh, you're going to have to purchase a few other items that go along to make this uh, uh, big kit. Uh, you have your fuel tank. You're going to need a, a metal strap to attach the fuel tank to the model. Uh, your control line handle. Here you have your U-control line. There's about 60 feet of it here. I went ahead and purchased the uh, Brodak 40 engine. Very nice. Muffler. Uh, got a uh, propeller spinner. Got your prop. And last but not least, uh, you have your uh, stooge. Uh, I use four big nails here to uh, nail it to the ground. Uh, what you do is you uh, have a piece of string or, uh, or a piece of wire coming off the back of your model that you hook into the here. And you take a piece of line to go back, that goes back to the center of where you're uh, standing. Whenever you're ready to start the flight, you don't have to rely on anybody to do it. You just pull it and that releases the, uh, the model. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started on the build process and uh, shouldn't take too long. I'm, I'm guessing about maybe an hour, hour and a half of attention to it. Um, that's what I like about the ARFs. If you're ready to fly, it doesn't take very much to get them going. And we'll get started on that right now.
Thank you.